Didn't you feel triumphant? Didn't, didn't that make you feel like the winner, at least of a football game, maybe of a presidential election? Now we can really understand what the meaning of music is. It's the way it makes you feel when you hear it. Finally, we've taken that last giant step, and we're there. We know what music means now. And we don't have to know a lot of stuff about sharps and flats and chords and all that business in order to understand music. If it tells us something, not a story or a picture, but a feeling, if it makes us change inside and have all those different good feelings that music can make you have, then you're understanding it. And that's all there is to it. Because those feelings aren't like the stories and the pictures we talked about before. They're not extra. They're not outside the music. They belong to the music. They're what music is about. And the most wonderful thing of all is that there's no limit to the different kinds of feelings music can make you have. And some of those feelings are so special and so deep that they can't even be described in words. You see, we can't always name the things we feel. Sometimes we can. We can say we feel joy, pleasure, peacefulness, whatever, love, hate. But every once in a while, we have feelings that are so deep and so special that we have no words for them. And that's where music is so marvelous. Because music names them for us, only in notes instead of in words. It's all in the way music moves. You must never forget that music is movement, always going somewhere, shifting and changing and flowing from one note to another. And that movement can tell us more about the way we feel than a million words can.